Hello YouTube, my name is Nero and today we have some Call of Duty Black Ops 3 playing a bit of Team Deathmatch here on the map Breach. It's a very quick gameplay because I want to make a very quick video for you guys. And in a recent video I talked about hacking in Black Ops 3 and how it's kind of becoming a thing, how we found out there are people out there who do have mods, they do have infections, and they are trying to sell them to people. And to be wary of that and try to avoid that the best you can. And I wanted to get your guys' feedback on that. I wanted to hear if there's any of these things you've actually ran to in the actual online multiplayer because I personally have yet to run into any mods or infections or like that in the Black Ops 3 multiplayer and the biggest one that you guys came back with me both in the comments of that video as well as on Twitter where you guys sent me pictures and videos of this stuff happening it appears that there is a lot of duping going on in Black Ops 3 right now I'll make you guys very aware of that I wanted to give you guys kind of like the downside to duping and exactly why it is you should try to avoid it at all costs so basically what duping is is what they're going to do is they're going to take your account and they're going to essentially give you all the same stats that that person has right I don't know the exact process at which they do that but essentially what they do is they take your account and they basically give it all the exact same stats and all the stuff that their account already has, right? They charge you money for it and then they somehow give you basically all the way up to Prestige Master, level 1000. They give it so you have Dark Matter camo and all that stuff on your account and they usually charge you a price for it, right? And there's a lot of people actually doing this and you might see that in the multiplayer. If you run into like several level 1000s, it's probably because they're duped. If you go ahead and check their stats, they're probably all going to be very similar and that's something that people are doing right now. You may run into some of those people pretty frequently. Another one that is going on in Black Ops right now is actually the Search and Destroy XP glitch lobbies where basically people are getting XP in a private match while playing Search and Destroy. This is also allowing people to level up ridiculously quickly. I wanted to let you guys know that these things are out there. These things do happen and to try to avoid them the best you can, right? Because Treyarch obviously has any and all information regarding these players, right? Your information online is completely known to Treyarch. They have access to all of this stuff, right? If you're looking at the leaderboards and you see somebody that has an obviously fake amount of score they're gonna be able to ban these people pretty quickly and they probably are going to be banning these people if history is in the indicator right i used infinity board and modern warfare 2 as an example in my last video and the reason for that was was that was kind of like the wild west of modding and the wild west of hacking and stuff all the way back in modern warfare 2 because they really didn't have any repercussions for it because there was really no developer that was at the time where infinity ward was all just either leaving or getting fired it was just an entire internal fiasco and as a result they really didn't have a developer backing up their game to support it and therefore there was lots of mods lots of cheats lots of hacks and infections and stuff like that in modern warfare 2 though there are some stuff here in black ops 3 as there is in just about every single online game ever while there is some stuff here treyarch is on top of it right treyarch is going to be banning these people if you have these modded stats and you're showing up on the leaderboard with very obviously modded stats you can expect your account to get banned even worse they may be able to put a uh, note further in down the line to sony or to microsoft and actually get your console banned if it gets bad enough but i doubt they would go that far usually they just in terms of call of duty anyway usually what they do unless you're doing something ridiculous is they just ban your account and make it so you can't play either for a set number of days or indefinitely it just depends on the severity of what you did right the severity of your incident so don't take a risk guys if somebody's offering in your lobby or something like that to dupe your account to give you prestige master level 1000 and dark matter camo don't do it if somebody invites you to a private match where for whatever reason you are actually earning xp in that private match know that it is a modded lobby and know that you can get in trouble for that, right? You can get panned for this kind of stuff. And I don't want to see that happen to any of you guys. So resist any temptation that you guys may see. If you run into this stuff, just try to avoid the best you can. If you see somebody in your lobby trying to sell stuff, report that person, right? Report that player. Try to get them banned. Try and make it so they can't continue to do this stuff. Because at the end of the day, it's kind of ruining the experience for some players. And you guys may be wondering, like, how is this ruining the experience for other players? It's just a rank and camo. Well, you guys have to know that if you have these stats and these modded stats, you're showing up on the leaderboards therefore you're taking priority on the leaderboards over people who have actually earned it you're using this camo that while well, i understand it's a camo and it's cosmetic dark matter that is it's a camo and it's cosmetic for the people that actually earn dark matter camo legitimately and work like seven plus days of playtime i've seen some people already just so they can get that camo as fast as possible and then have other people dupe it and just glitch it in onto their onto their accounts that's obviously a bad thing for those players as well that's a definitely a pretty low blow so try to avoid this stuff the best you can guys do not dupe your accounts do not get into any of these private match xp lobbies because chances are it will have some repercussions in the near future well ladies and gentlemen i hope you guys all enjoyed this video hopefully you guys all found it helpful and informative and if you did drop me a rating i hope you guys all have a wonderful day